GTE from the 1970s to create this concept, giving it a completely new, modern look. Of course, the modifications have affected the technical features as well. The Opel Manza GSC Electro Mod has a 147 horsepower electric motor. It was decided to keep the manual 4-speed gearbox to keep the spirits of the past era. The range is 124 miles, thanks to a battery with a capacity of 31 kilowatt hours. The exterior features include new alloy wheels, three-dimensional round lights, and an unusually shaped trunk lid. The resulting vehicle offers an optimal combination of retro and modern trends. the fastest electric motorcycle in the world. It was developed by the British company White Motorcycle Concepts to revolutionize the world of two-wheeled vehicles. It has an unusual design. There is an air duct in the front part of the body to reduce air resistance while driving. As a result, the drag coefficient is reduced by 69% to a value of 0.118, while the closest capacitor reaches only 0.279. The concept hasn't been tested yet, but the developers intend to beat the current record of 228 mph and accelerate the bike to a speed of more than 250 mph. However, the performance characteristics of this prototype aren't the most important aspect. The main feature is the hydrogen internal combustion engine. It uses fuel stored under high pressure in the tank at the back. It's fed through precise direct injection. As the manufacturer assures, the model burns a minimal amount of engine oil, and the overall emissions of the Lexus ROV are close to zero. on Aria, its latest electric crossover coupe. A couple of weeks ago, however, the brand unveiled a brand new prototype. It's part of a research and development project designed to show how the Nissan Aria's powertrain can work on the chassis of a single-seat race car. It's also a concept that allows you to understand how Nissan's future electrified sports models will look like. The designers wanted to design a body that would look like it was shaped by the air itself. And since the concept was created for demonstration purposes, its specifications were not announced. Critical takeoff and landing airplane, developed by the French company Ascendance Flight Technologies. The ATEA is designed to carry five passengers and travel up to 250 miles, both in the city and in rural areas. A system of rotors and propellers, in addition to its compact size, provide a comfortable landing experience. Besides, ATEA is much more eco-friendly than modern airplanes. Atmospheric emissions are reduced by 80%, while the noise level is four times lower. The first tests of the aircraft are scheduled for 2023, while mass production is scheduled for 2025. The 60th anniversary of the legendary Renault 4. It's a joint project of Renault and the American startup, the Arsenal. As you can see, it's not a car, but a quadcopter. Air 4 can reach heights of up to 2,300 feet and accelerate up to 56 miles per hour thanks to its four carbon fiber propellers. It has an electric propulsion system powered by lithium polymer batteries with a capacity of 90,000 milliamp hours. But these are just potential features of the vehicle. The project was implemented in just six months and is part of a promotional campaign for a new version of the Renault 4 which is scheduled for release in 2025. The future and what kind of technology will soon be used for delivery operations. Leopard is a van from the Israeli company REE, powered by a new modular reboard EV platform architecture. 
This vehicle is designed to deliver small batches of cargo in big cities. However, the plan of the brand is much more ambitious. The body of the van, if necessary, can be separated from the mobile chassis. In its place, a passenger shuttle or even an ordinary passenger car can be installed. Such a unique design will make it possible to create a completely new type of fleet with wider possibilities than before. The most optimal vehicle for each specific task can be assembled in a short time. Of course, the platform runs on electricity and has a high level of autonomy. Car prototypes and ideas for public transport in December 2021, a joint project of two well-known Italian companies, Pininfarina and New Holland, was presented. It is a tractor, whose technical and operational characteristics allow it to work in premium-class wineries. The model stands out for its compactness, only 5 feet wide, and the track allows passing through two rows of bushes at a time. This allows the tractor to move freely in densely planted fields, which is how the best grapes in Champagne, Bordeaux and Burgundy are grown. It's powered by a hybrid propulsion system, although each wheel has its own electric motor. This is how BMW described their latest prototype. The XM has a long wheelbase, heavily contoured proportions and two-tone paint. Special attention is paid to the rear bumper with vertically stacked twin exhaust pipes. The V8 electric engine has up to 750 horsepower and 838 foot-pounds of torque. The model was designed for urban driving, so it has a short range of about 50 miles. The Concept XM is designed to be nearly silent and generate zero emissions. Materials such as leather, velvet and carbon fibre are used for the interior finish. An interesting feature is the sealer with a three-dimensional prismatic structure illuminated along its perimeter with the light. Here we go. End of 2021, Hyundai showed this new conceptual electric crossover. For this brand, it is another step towards the creation of a full-size electric SUV. The Ionix 7 is based on the EGMP platform, on which some of the brand's other vehicles are based. This means that the model's range reaches 300 miles, and it takes about 20 minutes to charge the battery from 10 to 80%. Pixel lighting turned out to be an interesting exterior detail. The running lights were replaced by a strip across the entire width of the car body. The wheel rims have their own active aerodynamics elements, which can be pulled out and fitted as required. Slightly lesser known American brand. The AB6 Jet Quad is a quadcopter whose rotors were replaced by micro-turbine jet engines. This modification allowed to increase the maximum speed of the drone up to 250 miles per hour. The maximum takeoff weight is 132 pounds, 44 of which come from the fuel reserve. The ability to take off and land vertically is an important advantage. And thanks to its compact size, the AB6 Jet Quad will even fit into a 10 square foot area. The quadcopter can move fully autonomously and can fly up to 62 miles at a time. 